did not think it was life threatening. I just thought, wow, this is a tough game. That was Thursday night in triple digit temps. Bowie High School football player Justice Trumpler started experiencing cramping, vomiting, even collapsing a couple of times. He kept playing. His first game of the senior season eventually landing him in the ICU. Several doctors told me he was near death. He was dying just from the heat and overexertion. It looks very similar to so many other things like a concussion. It could look similar to somebody being hypoglycemic. Um, it could look uh, it could it could look like uh, maybe a sudden cardiac arrest because you could see a collapse. Dr. Rebecca Stearns with the Corey Stringer Institute walked through some of the signs of heat stroke, the most serious and potentially deadly of the heat illnesses, signs that Trumpler exhibited. They conduct research and work to get new policies implemented nationwide to protect athletes. It was founded in honor of an NFL player who passed away from heat stroke. We know there's there's gaps currently in terms of the safety and protections in place. And specifically, unfortunately for the high school athletes, we know that um, athletes unfortunately don't always have the same protections that say a collegiate professional and even like laborers or the military would have in place. So we're working really hard to close that gap. Meanwhile, the UIL recently released new safety guidelines based on a different type of heat index, one that takes into account a larger variety of factors. It gives a range of temperature measurements that says it's either green, yellow, orange, or red. And when they are different colors, it means you have different actions that you take. So it could mean modification of uh, gear to wear or uh, how often you should take water breaks or if it's the worst, just cancel practice altogether till the values get lower. But before protocols change or technology advances, everyone needs to be more aware um, of how deadly it can be.